Love this podcast? Support it and sponsor today. Simply head to oscastnetwork.com for details. A white man got full rock and rock out of there. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. Oh, this hard guy's net worth being this good. One more game. One more game. See, I'll take all your fronts out. I swear. You ain't my daddy, are you? There's going to be consequences and repercussions. What time is it? Game time, poof. Okay, welcome, welcome, welcome again to the Don't Be Blase podcast. We're coming to you live from the House of Pain, otherwise known as Snap Fitness, Seattle CBD. I'm your host, Speed Carolina, joined as always by my man, Steve Burrows. Hello, Speed. How are you? I'm very good. Thank you, Stephen. Thank that you. Very formal. That's good, you yes. Been on your best manners since we had a week off? We had a week. <laughs> That's right, we had a week off. So I uh, thought I'd sharpen up the skills. Yeah, as you trip over that last word. <laughs> 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 Real sharp skills. But before we get started with uh, the sharp skills with the Z, uh, we'd like to thank our sponsor, Larry and Lad. Go see the boys at Region Arcade. Get yourself an awesome coffee. This is some pretty sweet tunes. But for now, on with the show. Now, Stephen. Uh, yes, mate. Uh, I believe that you have uh, a few people that you want to uh, throw some shots at. Uh, let's hit it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's hear it, yeah. Many are born flocks, but only a select few are truly eligible for the Shit Bloke Awards. <laughs> Your host, Spee Caruana. So, Stephen, who's, who's running you down? Who's who's bugging you this week? Well, uh, Spee, there's a couple of your mates, actually. Oh, here we go. A couple of your mates. Um, I was going to give one vote to LeBron for just missing free throws, but you can't really be a oh, shit bloke for missing free throws. Yeah. But I, just, I actually did, just wanted to get just it on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On. I'm, I'm, I'm sure right. we'll discuss that a bit later. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. Moving on. All right, but no, these are your boys. These are your boys. I'm going to give one. Uh, is your boy Ingram. Ingram? Yeah. For trying to king hit. Chris Paul? Innocent little Chris Paul. Innocent. <laughs> innocent, little innocent. Chris Paul. Minding his own business. <laughs> and um, Ingram comes over, think, you know, watched a bit of Conor McGregor, uh, you know, Khabib. Yep. Got a few, oh uh, yeah, if you hit people from behind, it can be quite effective. So yeah. he went for that and... Uh, oh, he went to his face. He went, didn't he? Uh, no, it was over about, you know, It was over a top. It was over a top. And let's face it. it was so a, how, how many, many votes were getting Just one. Just, just one. one. Okay, so you're like calling it the biggest dog act in the history of basketball. No, no, no. no one vote. <laughs> one vote. Two votes goes to the proper dog, which yep. is Rondo. Yep. Um, Ooh, hang on a tick. Now, Rondo... From all my, my, from my, what did you say? My mail, from yep. my mail. And uh, it has been reported that um, he projected yeah. onto poor little innocent CP3, <laughs> minding his own oh, business. <laughs> minding his business. Yep. And he was Patui in the face, which started the whole thing. It was like, in the face, it was on the jersey. Oh, okay, so that, that makes a difference. No, it's it? still dog, but still. Dylan Dennis, or whatever we gave his votes for, for starting a riot. Yeah. Well, I feel I think it's okay to um to pop. give a couple of votes for Rondo for yeah. really, really heating that bad boy up. Because, yeah. you know what, Harden is not innocent in this. Harden is a jerk, and yeah. if I played against him, I'd probably shove him as well. Exactly. Not giving, him, not giving Ingram votes for that. Yes. I'm no, no, down no, with no, that. I understand the votes for Ingram, and yeah. I understand the votes for Rondo, but it's I want to know just, who's getting the three-piece. The three, I, don't, so I actually reserved that for you. I, I didn't. I had one and two. Yeah. This is a one, two, three punch. I thought you might come through with well, three. Well, it's funny because the three is going to go to CP3. <laughs> for two reasons. For a little innocent CP3. Twofold. One, oh. fake tough guy act. You know I can't stand that. He had a, a little uppercut. That, that, yeah, he landed. That, that landed. landed a punch. But you got to remember, this is the guy that's claiming to be poor little innocent CP3. Now, Stephen, I ask you, how many times can you recall... That young CP3 has been suspended for punching guys in the nuts. Punching guys in the nuts? It's happened three times. Once in college, twice in the professionals. Wow. Hitting guys low. Now, so this is why, like, when he got punched and everyone kind of, you know, when he said out, he came out and said, oh, CP3 is a shit teammate. And oh, this and that. Yeah. He's not a good guy. Mm-hmm. And, like, big Glenn, big baby Davis came out and said, yep, I played with him. He's a fucking lousy bloke. It's, it's... It's one of those things. Everyone knows he's he's a little shit bastard. He's a little no. shit stirrer. No one, no one said. No one said. Poor innocent little CP3. Everyone <laughs> went. Oh, you got to get upcut in. You know, because everyone knows he is a shit bloke no. too. And because he's the president of the Players Association, he only gets two games off as opposed to everyone else gets three and four. <laughs> tell me how that works. Then. Well, let me tell you. I see. I feel for Chris Paul. Yeah. He's not a shit team bloke. You know what he is? What? He's like Butler. And he's like Blas. Yeah. He's just competitive, yeah. man. And then the big soft, big baby, for Christ's sake. 
Be, oh, he's a bit hard, is he? Oh, that's because he cries in the playoffs games, man. Yeah, big baby. It's called Big Baby because he's a little baby. So no, he's a big baby. He's a big baby. Hence why. Didn't, he, didn't he get in trouble with the, the, the law? He, didn't he get done with like cocaine on the plane or something? No, they tried recently? to say that he was in trouble for this and that. And he was going to go bankrupt or something. And he was sitting on a plane eating a chicken sandwich surrounded by cash. He goes, no, nah, I'm doing all right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, I thought, I thought he got arrested for that. Anyway, Chris Paul he does nothing wrong other than just be competitive yeah. and a good basketball player. Yeah. Um, you just all flock together. You just competitive assholes just all <laughs> just tucked in nicely. Yeah. Now, we're gonna see, obviously, this is going to segue straight in because there's been a lot happening. This is a segue. <laughs> this is the thing. That you, you, okay, so Steve tried to pitch me against. I've got a little idea. I'm going to start doing segues. I've got a little sound effect for you. <laughs> it's going to come through. That was terrible. If that's, if that's what you've been hyping no, that, up. That, 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 that was, I haven't done it yet because we haven't segued yet. So okay. proceed. So what did the NBA? This is a segue. <laughs> okay, I lied. It was it. That was it. Okay, but I didn't expect so much. That I is didn't... that is so bad that it's probably going to catch on and be great. <laughs> it's one of those things. It, it's that terrible. It's now going to become a a, a, a staple. I think oh, every other show is going to pinch that too. But we're going to move on to the NBA because I mean it's our favorite topic, guys. And so much has been fucking going on mm. in the first two weeks of the season. Now, the thing that's impressed me today, today being Friday recording, is have you heard the news of the Jimmy Butler trade? Well, the alleged, the attempted Jimmy Butler trade. Houston willing to give up four first round picks for Jimmy Butler. And that, that is only four because that's the maximum apparently they could do. They'd yeah. probably fucking throw the kitchen sink at them as well, man. But the thing is, I don't get is they're not lottery protected either. So these are just mm. outright picks, okay? yeah. which is what like, the Brooklyn Nets did. Years ago, and they're still paying for it, and they've basically handed the keys to the East over to the Boston Celtics because the Boston Celtics have been finishing in the top three in the mm. East and getting a top three pick every year. Yeah, because of the stupidity of the Nets and the Rockets are looking to do exactly the same thing. But Houston, so and, let, and you you understand these things a bit more than I do. So are you saying that if if Houston, you know, uh, let's have a shit season yep. and they end up in the lottery, yeah, that would be one of the things. Having said that, though, Houston. Being quite, you know, pretty good, I wouldn't expect them to be in the lottery anytime soon. But the thing is, that's so what they like... thought with Brooklyn. Mm. They got all those veterans and these, you know. Now you remember, Harden under a huge contract, Chris Paul mm. under a huge contract, even though he's getting on a bit and he's injury prone. You've sort of paid Capella. You've got Melo on. Oh, contract. let's talk about Melo just for two seconds. How good was he the other day? I don't know, when he tried to do his get the fuck out of here, I got this, and then drop the ball out of bounds? Is that, is that what we're talking about? Keep going, speed. <laughs> <laughs> but then you're going to sign Jimmy Butler, who is out of contract at the end of the season. Mm. So you're gambling a lot on the hope that he stays. Yeah. And that's the issue I have. Now, the other thing on the flip side of that, how pathetic is Carl Anthony Towns? Carl Anthony Towns was outed by Jimmy Butler as being weak, and he is fouled out of the first game he played with Jimmy Butler in about 18 minutes, which is just unacceptable for a guy of his talent. Then he had a great game, the game that Jimmy Butler didn't play. Okay. And then when Butler played again the next game, Butler was dominating again. Mm. And Cal Anthony Towns airballed a three, looked over the bench and went sub me out. Actually asked to come oh, off the wow. court. I didn't catch that, that was very different to the uh, Kevin Durant <laughs> asked to get come off the court we were discussing earlier with the uh, against the Wizards, where he just dunked on them with about nine minutes to go and said they're trash to sub me out. Don't even want to play them anymore. I mean they're up by thirty at the time, but that's just arrogance, which I don't mind. I don't yeah, mind you don't mind a bit of arrogance. Um, and, and Kevin Durant sort of on my my positive list now because he's on my fantasy team. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's funny how your allegiance is turned. Oh, hang on a second. Hang, hang on a second. Are you the same guy that would trash us LA Crows fans for bagging our guys? Yeah. And, then, and isn't this uh, the, maybe the reverse way of that? Because you get him on your team and all of a sudden he's... Well, he's on my fantasy team. He's on my actual, actual team. Oh, okay. I still think he's a shit bloke. But the fact that he gets good <laughs> has numbers... He, has he had votes lately? He, uh, there's any votes for all. Oh. Kyle will always throw him under the bus. Kyle mm. and Dylan both hate him. So he, he, if I ask him, he's going to get more votes. So he's a runaway winner for the shit bloke award. But I'm just enjoying his play. Mm. Although, the only problem with having Kevin Durant on your team 
is the fact the Warriors keep beating everybody by like 30 odd and they don't play the last quarter. So you're losing valuable stats there. Yeah, I know. That's exactly right, man. So there's like a lot of guys like getting junk time points and I'm getting donuts because my guys are that good. They're just coming out at three quarter time. It's like, you're killing me. Who's got Steph in your competition? Because that guy, whoever he's got, he won. Oh, you know, he's a very happy man, the guy that has Steph. Sign him up. Only close, uh, closely followed by the guy that has Giannis. Yeah, oh, Giannis. Giannis wow. averaging 16 boards a game at the moment. Can I tell you something, though, Speed? And this might then I think we're both uh, guilty here, but how crazy has Blake Griffin been playing his first four or five games? I, I owe the, uh, the, the, the president of the Black Man with Red Hair Association. Uh, <laughs> I owe him an apology. Wow. Because he has been incredible. Like I said, I wrote Pistons off. I'm like, nah, playoffs. Playoffs? Like, <laughs> I was just like, nah, mate, they'll be lucky to win a game. Yeah, they're currently, I think, at, as of recording, I think they're like 5-0 and or something. Like, it's ridiculous. And he just drops a 50-piece on the 76ers, mm. who we both crowned as probably the best team in the league, and they get, they're get doing nothing. Because they're only, I think, maybe 2-4 and four or something in the moment. Yeah, I think so, they lost against Milwaukee. I think they're only yeah. 1-1 now. There's a lot of slow-starting mm. teams, you expect. Like, the, the Thunder are 0-4. The, the Rockets are one and four. The, you know, the same. The Lakers are just one, so they're like two and three. So there's some teams that are expected to do better and just not, not quite performing. No, that's right. Um, and Boston had to. I mean, uh, Boston was also struggling, and they but they had to get over OKC, mm. and they had to come back from 16 points down. So it's just been a crazy start of the season. So look, I think it will even out. Yeah, I think it will. But I tell you what, I'm not in, not enjoying at the moment. Speed is these high-scoring games. Yeah. I do not enjoy it, and I feel like there needs to be some rule changes. Mm. Um, I, I'm hating this 144 to 143 end-of-the-game scores. It like, hasn't even gone to overtime. You know, yeah, like, no. yeah, You expect that with an overtime game, but yeah, this is like standard full-time. Like, yeah. The over-unders on like betting on games have been all over like 230-plus. Yeah. It's like, yeah. that is ridiculous. Yeah, and I don't not like... Not that we condone a lot of gambling. <laughs> <laughs> I have said that we were watching the Lakers through sports bet two seconds ago. Yeah. But um, what, what I don't like is that, you know, and, and I've complained about it for years, is this pick-and-roll offense. But now because every person, including Blake Griffin, by the way, who's shooting three-pointers at about 80% this year, yeah. he's, hit, he's hit five, three times or something now yeah. at, a high, at a high rate. What's happening is it's, it's a pick and roll, yep. and it's a three pointer. There's that's that's shooting 90, 95 times a game, which is cr- crazy fast anyway. Sometimes yep. undergo, and forty of them are threes. Mm. You know, so that means there's no defense mm. because you can't. There's no help defense. Everyone just sort of like it's either a layup. I watched. I saw Houston's shot chart the other day. There was three shots shot outside of the paint, but within the three point line. Yeah, probably because Melo. Forced them up or something well, they, they like, say that, that, that the analytics have taken over the game, mm. and they look at the analytics and like, well, if you're taking a long two, you might as well take a three. Yeah, you know, because the percentage of a long two is about the same as the percentage of a three, so yeah. you might as well take a step back, get extra point. So that's where that comes from. If you mm. look at most team shot charts these days, there's not a lot of mid range. The mid range jumper, other than who the man that just dubbed mid range Jesus, Demar Derozan. There's no guys really hitting any of those sort of the Jordan, you know, pull up, yeah, you know, twenty out, not even, yeah, yeah just bank shots or whatever. There's none of that anymore. You know, and you post moves. It's just get into the paint. You're not shooting really outside of the post. So that's that's that's, that's where the game's headed. Yeah, and I'm, I'm just I'm just gonna say I, I sound old fashioned, mm. uh, and I and I accept that. I'm, and and I might be out, you know. Well, this is why I've I've turned to love the Warriors. I've turned the corner on just hating them because they're great. And learning to appreciate them because of their greatness, because of the way they're playing, their style of play. It's fast, but everyone shares the ball. You know, what I mean, like if you think like the the shooters they have on that team, and the, and the sort of the, not the egos, but you know the, the personalities they have on that team, you've got guys there that should be, you know, they all want to be the number one. You know, I mean, like like Steph scores fifty one in three quarters, and then he reminds everybody. <laughs> Hey, remember like a year ago when everyone thought I was the second best player in the world? But as soon as Durant came over, everyone kind of went, oh, yeah, Steph, yeah, yeah, he's top five. But he was, you know, two-time MVP, only ever unanimous MVP. Like, the guy is a freak, and he's changing the way the games play. Yeah. So, he's, you know, he's there, but he doesn't mind taking a lesser role for, you know, whereas like Harden will mm. never take a lesser role. Westbrook won't take a lesser role. And they play horrible, like just dribble the air out of the basketball, like style. And it's hard to watch. It is. Whereas the Warriors, you know, like Steph has a go, but then Steph will dish the ball off and he'll run off a couple of screens, maybe gets it back, maybe they dish it to Clay, maybe they give it to Durant. And it's sort of 
you never know who's getting the shot. Whereas when you're watching the Rockets, you know who's getting the shot. You know how the play is getting set up. It's just horrible to watch. Yeah, that's right. Mm. And I always and I felt like that for Harden for a long time. But this year, I've watched every game because I'm just keeping obviously tabs mm. on my boy Melo. And it is really, really hard. And as a Melo fan who I want him to get involved, mm. it's impossible. He mm. literally, he's, he'll, he'll end up being a top 10 scorer of all time. Mm. His role now is literally... Go to the corner and wait your turn. Yeah, wait your turn. And, it, and you know what? As much as I've bagged him, he deserves better than that. He does, man. It's, it's sad. Just, man. It's an, oh, I hope this whole Houston Rockets experiment crashes and burns, which is I think part of the reason why they're just gambling the farm on trying to get Jimmy Butler in because they just if that doesn't work there with the amount of money they're spending and the people they've brought in, mm. if it doesn't work and you know it's going they have to blow up the team and they have to start from scratch and that's not going to go down well because they've got a lot of money sunk into a lot of players. That you know probably just don't mesh. You know? Yeah, they had their best chance last year and they missed twenty seven threes in a row. <laughs> so, so yeah. everything's good. But yeah, you know, the important thing is the Lakers have righted the ship because you were on me at zero and two. You were on me at zero and three <laughs> for our forty seven win bet. Forty six for you, forty seven yeah. for me. Yeah. Now, the important thing is that they're starting to get the team chemistry. Okay. And, you know, you need your alpha and you need your beta. You need your, you need your, your sidekick, you know what I mean? Like, you, know, you need your Batman, you need your Robin, okay? And that's the important thing is because we've finally established who the Robin is in the Lakers, and it's LeBron James. Because Lance <laughs> Stevenson <laughs> is just taking over the game. <laughs> He is the, the six. He's gonna be six man of the year. He comes on. He gives him a bit of excitement. I think the last two games he's had twenty three and like twenty eight or something. Even against the Nuggets, they were down eight. Don't, don't worry. LeBron goes to the bench. Lance gets eight in a row. You know, like eight points, like straight off the bat. The man's exciting. He, I mean, he's a train wreck waiting to happen. But I'm gonna go down with him as our Batman, <laughs> and LeBron as Robin, and I'm quite happy to go down with the ship. <laughs> yeah, because he, he it's just smelling a bit too much like JR for me, man. Yeah. It's smelling a bit too much like John Starks oh. and every other fucking... <laughs> every other scumbag that I like <laughs> that's just streaky as all hell. Uh, which, speaking yeah. of which, just to quickly just cycle back with the JR, you saw that highlight the other day, he went behind the back, laid it up, and they were like, oh, look at the handles on JR. Now, the thing that I was looking at was the score. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone behind the back, laid it up, and won. Yeah, no worries. You're down 20 in the fourth oh, to the Nets. No. It was like, oh, no. They're like, that team has lost one guy. They are 0-5 and, and have lost. The average lo- losing margin is 20 points. It's safe to say I might get that one wrong. I think I picked them for my playoffs. Yeah, I think, I think I might, they might. They might just miss out by whisker. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Um, apparently, I read that they were giving away $2 tickets. Yeah, for the Nets game. That's uh, it's yeah, a pull from Grace. It is. Yeah. yeah, hot ticket. But that's right. Like I said, we have our superhero now. He's in He's in LA, and his name is Lance, and he's making him dance. <laughs> wow. Well, uh, hey, that, that sounds like a bit to me like a segue. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you taking us, Steve? Well, Speed, we mentioned a couple of weeks ago. Um, Survivor Series in the WWE usually comes up around November-ish. November, yeah. yeah. And uh, we get Teams close, of five teams fight to survive. Teams of five. So I had an idea. I thought, uh, after listening to um, your episode with... Uh, Big J. Uh, Big J, with the Batman talk. Yep. Uh, a bit of discussion with the cosplay stuff. Yep. I thought, um, what... I always thought, you know, I mean, who who are the best superheroes of all time? It's hard, because you've got the DC world, you've got the Marvel world, you've got you know, other dudes who just wouldn't, you know, we probably even forgot about over the years. So mm. I just... I thought, you know, how cool would it be if we had a five-on-five Survivor Series type match, Ooh. you know, like which is like a last man surviving, basically. Yeah. Last man standing. It's not going to be in a traditional wrestling ring. It's going to be like Hunger Games. They're going to be put out in the middle of, or, you know, or Fortnite or Blackout, whatever, if you play video games, do those kind of things. You're kind of dumped into a map. Go hard. Five-on-five. I reckon we should uh, do a bit of a draft. All right. So you want to do it like a? So we'll do like a. You pick one. I pick one. Or do yeah, you want to, do you want to toss a coin, or do you want to go first? Um, I'll let you go first. You go you know, first? Oh, no, you can go first. Okay. I, I'm confident. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So, all right. are there any rules for who we can pick? All right. The simple rules, and we might actually rules might come up as we yep. as we play. Well, when I pick someone good, and you're like, uh, actually, uh, you can't have him. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because oh, because he's Barley's. <laughs> yeah, exactly. well, maybe that's it. But we're definitely not going to have gods and demigods. So explain what you mean by gods and demigods. Okay, because I've, I've, I talked to. Uh, I did a bit of research about, or not really research, a bit of uh, market research, should yeah. I say, about whether this would be a good topic for our. Um, this is the first listener. time in the history you've prepped for the show. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it is. 
<laughs> and uh, what I was thinking is, um, if we if we did anyone in the in the in that kind of world, apparently there's a character called Thanos, Thanos, Thanos yeah. who apparently is a god, yeah. and apparently could just take out anyone. The well, fuck he's got he the wants. gauntlet. He's got the Infinity Gauntlet. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, about and he can more click like his it. fingers and he wipes out half. Yeah. So that's ridiculous. So he is out. Oh, he's out. He's out. He's not included. Which then, unfortunately, yeah. a couple of guys are gone by association. Yeah. Which is uh, Thor. Thor. Because Gorn. he's a demigod, maybe. Yep. Maybe Hercules has to go. Whoa, not Hercules. Son of Zeus. Yep. And Wonder Woman. I'm sure we can come up with a couple of others. Yep. Apparently, Wonder Woman's a demigod. So that's the rules at this point in time. But this game might evolve. Yes. Okay, so. How are we going on Superman? Because he's just, he's an so, alien. He's Yeah, but he's not a god. Okay. And funny enough, s- 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 segue, he is my first vote. So okay. Superman, he is starting shooting guard. Oh, shooting guard, you reckon? <laughs> not a big man? Oh, Superman, Michael Jordan. You don't uh, reckon? kind of works out, doesn't Well, he's it? kind of Shaq and, and, and uh, Dwight Howard. No, no, I see, I'm thinking someone else might be a Shaq or a Dwight Howard. Ooh, so uh, I'm definitely going to go Superman. The reason I go Superman, and I know people go, oh, Batman beat him. Get the fuck out of here. Superman really wanted to take Batman. Yeah. A bit of kryptonite. Shut the fuck up. He would be about 100 meters away and just laser shit, laser eyes him. It laser eyes him. Yeah, that's what it's called. And um, <laughs> he's, he's, Batman's gone. I don't care how smart Batman is. Shut the fuck up. He's just a human with a bit of cash. Batman, you pussy. You're not getting in my team, by the way. I was going to say, I was like, it's going to be really <laughs> awkward when I don't pick Batman and you just go, uh, number two, Batman. <laughs> so Superman's my number one pick. All right. As he rightfully should be. There we go. All right. Well, you take this. You get real competitive early. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna go with my number one pick, and this yep. is gonna be a little bit. You know, I think I think I might follow my superhero picks the way I sort of follow my 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 basketball okay. picks. What do you go, scumbaggy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go one Deadpool. Oh, okay. Yep. Yep. The yep. man that cannot die. Yeah. So that's yeah. a pretty good bonus that, to have. Hey, that is fantastic. <laughs> good job, man. So I'm going to go Deadpool. Good job, buddy. Smart ass. Quite skilled with weapons. Mm-hmm. And also cannot be killed. Yeah, that's that's, <laughs> so that's, that's a bit of a... That's a, <laughs> that's, that's a bit of a loophole. <laughs> yeah. pick you like, actually, oh, I'm checking the rules. Uh, you can't pick someone that can't be killed. Yeah, you have to be able to die. Yeah, so, you know... Good I mean, one. That was, that was mine. You know, I mean, that's in right. the last set in Deadpool 2, spoilers... They, he has. To, they all the mutants wear like a neck brace thing that takes away their powers, so he can die in that scenario. Okay. But you know, things happen. Blah, blah, blah. Surprise, mm. surprise! The superhero doesn't die at the end. So I oh, know it's, it's surprised <laughs> me too. It's probably hard to me. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go with Deadpool okay, number one. Okay, nice, nice. Team. That's that's good. Yes. Oh, that's a great pick. Uh, my second pick yep. is going to go to the most powerful man in the universe. He-Man. I was going to say Hulk Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> He-Man. He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Yeah. As powerful as Superman might be, yeah. apparently not as powerful as He-Man. Right. So I'm all about the muscles, is about he, the strength. Is he, is he? Does he fall into God territory? Why would he? He's just, I don't know. Is he? No, he's not. I don't know. He has a power of grey skull. That's about he fucking does. it. And he, yeah, because I used to carry around a He-Man sword myself. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know. There's something godish about it. I don't know. We might need to do a bit of research. Maybe on that. a little bit of research. I'll put an asterisk next to He-Man. Asterisk next to He-Man. Okay, but uh, well, my more asterisk was he's going to have Thundercat with him. Yeah. Well, the thing well, is, Thundercat is his own superhero. No, Thunderhead only turned when he turned. Because he was that little scared cat. Yeah, when he does that, I have the power. And yeah, then shoots him with the sword. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> this fucking poor cat just wants to hang out. Yeah. And now he's turned into fucking big battle cat tiger thing. Yeah. Well, He-Man's good. Yeah, very now, powerful. Very powerful. Now, the only thing that may work against you in that scenario, are we going He-Man, He-Man from the comics and the cartoons, or are we going the shitty Dolph Lundgren version <laughs> <laughs> from the 80s? Because that might be a strike against you. Well, certainly not Dolph Lundgren, because that is one of the worst movie adaptations I've ever seen. What? Why does I don't understand why movie producers feel the need to like bring this stuff into the human world? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like Super Mario Bros. Yeah, or, or um, uh, my my daughter has been watching Smurfs lately, and then they come into oh, the why yeah, yeah. why can't it just be Smurfs Gargamel? Yeah. Oh, you know, trust and try. They try to mix it up. I mean, admittedly, like those those <clears throat> adaptations they did in the eighties with the the comic book ones like The Punisher and stuff mm. like that, they were all cut. Yeah. Purely the fact that I didn't like the Masters of the Universe purely because uh, He-Man had a gun. He did, he had the blaster, that's yeah, right. Yeah, I was yeah. like, no, He-Man doesn't have a gun. No, he doesn't. And you can't really do like a human adaptation of Skeletor. No. Because he's a fucking skeleton. He's a skeleton for Christ's sake. <laughs> doesn't with, quite with blue work. muscles. Yeah. 
So that was that was pretty weak. Yeah. So, so as long as we, so we've got an asterisk next to it. Eighties He Man, Master of the Universe, a real buff one. Yeah. 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 I don't want no skinny fucking He Man. Yeah, you're real, you're real homoerotic tinge to your uh, <laughs> team, haven't we, go, Steve? So fast. So, yep. All right. What do you got? I'm gonna go with uh, Scumbag Number Two, Tony Stark, Old Iron Man. Oh, Iron Man. Because a, I love his scumbag behaviour. Uh, his form in the first movie won me over to superhero movies completely because I wasn't a big superhero guy. Mm-hmm. Watched the first Iron Man and the scene that gets me over is, oh, but this, this, this is a... No, no, no. The scene where he walks into the charity gala and this blonde bird walks up to him and she goes, hey, remember me? He goes, certainly don't. <laughs> Keeps walking. I'm like, this is my guy. Yeah, this is your This guy. is my guy. Oh, T-Stark. And because if there's anyone who can have the uh, science in nous, to uh, organise some kryptonite, mm. it's my man. It's my man Tony. Yeah. So he could probably shoot that out of his little hands. Yeah, He's probably man. got that shit locked and loaded. So I like your thinking. You know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not just going the, the cheesy blokes. I think mm-hmm. I'm thinking of a little counter strikes. No, I appreciate that. that's good. That's good. Um, I'm going to go a bit outside the box here, and this guy is not a hero. Yeah. He's a bad guy. Oh, here we go. And he's from uh, Skeletor. Medi- <laughs> 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 I do dig blue muscles, yeah. but no. Um, I'm going to go is with... Is Tex from Super Ted? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not from Super Ted. This guy is from uh, many galaxies away. Yeah. Far, far away. Yeah. And he has got the force. Uh, he is none uh, other than Darth Vader. Well, He'll be choking you guys out yeah. just with his fingers. He don't have to touch you, man. But, you know, like, you, you come up and you Tony Stark might, like, say some yeah, snidey comment. Uh, and Darth Vader don't... Don't play that shit. Yeah. And he just chokes him from, <laughs> he just like chokes him from across the room. His, son, his own son with a bad haircut killed him. <laughs> you know, like it's not a great, not a strong. No, he character. didn't. No, he he died because the emperor started. To <laughs> you remember? Oh, because he was losing. No, he wasn't. No, no, no. He was winning. Because mm. remember, like um, Luke Skywalker was like, "Oh, Dad, hold me," and then and then and then um, and then he picked him up. Remember, he picked up the emperor yeah. and he started getting electrocuted and shit, yeah. and he froze him over the edge. And yeah. but he was, you know, for, for for three of those films, he was badass. Yeah, you know. And and when you think about it, right? Look at the Star Wars films now, right? I know you don't watch them because you like girls, but in the <laughs> Star Wars films, yeah, the the yeah, there's like star- stormtroopers taking it to like the the the, the now boss guy. Yeah. I don't know his fucking name. Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren. The uh, the black stormtrooper who's never had like combat training other than probably shooting blasters really badly. He he can take it to Kylo Ren. When Darth Vader's doing it, he takes out dudes like that man. He takes out Jedi's at the end of number episode number three. You know he goes and beats the shit of all them kids and stuff like that. <laughs> that were laid out, man. So, oh, so he beat up a whole bunch of kids. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. This is no, like he didn't saying beat him, he this, killed him. This is like saying that you know, like oh, Bruce Lee may not be able to beat Kramer because Kramer did karate and beat up all those kids. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's some solid logic there, but uh, I'm not sure. But I'm gonna say Darth Vader is my number three. There you go. Oh, this is my number three. Is going to go along the same lines of, of me in, in uh, following my scumbag tradition, but not this one's not scumbaggy, more so to do with my temper. Oh, you won't yeah. like me when I'm angry because I'm going the Incredible Hulk. Yeah, that's that's a good call, man. So Hulk, he just just fucking massive. Yeah, and he's just gonna like you know, yeah, little Darth Vader, like you try to force choke the Hulk. I don't think that's gonna work. I know he's got the force thing, but I don't, you know, try to shut. I don't, I don't think it's working on Hulk. I think Hulk's a little Gary Gary Lynch bit much mass. Mm. Uh, to be to be t- sort of taking that sort of yeah. shit. So yeah, he's big. He's angry. See, what if He Man and Hulk went toe to toe? Because we know He Man is the most powerful man in the universe. Yeah. Well, like, how, well, how does the strength compare? You know, if they're benching, you know, who's winning? <laughs> you know, who's winning? Oh, bench. I reckon you definitely. <laughs> Go with the hole. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Hulk, yeah. Although it might be a little hard for him to get down on the bench, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, the bench. He's doing floor presses. He's too big for the bench. Mm, mm. But you know, I think he's out deadlifting him too. So we're going to go on that route. But I just think I don't know, <laughs> Hulk is he doing two 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 sixties? You reckon? Oh, maybe, maybe. <laughs> if he's wearing an icon t shirt from RockyMero <laughs> dot com, um. uh, he, he may he may win it. You know? mm. but, yeah, I just I think you know Hulk. Uh, not Bruce. Bruce is a bit of a, you know, he's annoying. Oh, Brucey yeah. Banner. Yeah, but bitch. you give him a little tickle and get him angry. And then all of a sudden, you got Hulk. <laughs> Tickle his nuts a little bit. Yeah. That's right, yeah. He's a bit angry. He's yanking on some pubes and he's ready to go. You know, like, so that's why I'm going the big Hulk. That, I, I do like this. Man. So, who we got? Can you can recap so far? Recap so far, you've got a really, really wussy team <laughs> of uh, old soups. Oh, He Man. And Darth Vader. Now, Stephen, if you don't get your foot off that oh, table, yeah, see. that yeah, microphone's going to go crashing to the floor. My bad. We like to keep the uh, errors in our show. Yeah, we don't, we don't edit. We don't edit shit. Yeah, yeah. And Steve's clumsy. <laughs> so, Steve, 
I've got Deadpool, the man that can't die. Yeah. Iron Man, who's just really clever and smart ass. Yeah. Really, not a strong member of my team, but I just like. Apparently, him. he's got suits that take out Hulk. Did yeah, he's got, he's got, a, he's got a, he actually has a suit for Hulk as well. They mm. had like super, what, to keep him in check super Iron Man. No, no, but it had like giant, oh. so it became like giant Iron Man versus versus the Hulk. Right. It was pretty cool. So he mm-hmm. can do giant Hulk suits as well. Yeah. As well as, and I've got the Hulk. Mm. And, you know, so like I'm doing pretty well there. <laughs> That's two really good things. Yeah. Okay, so now who have you got for number four? Well, actually, um, I'm going to go a mutant. Mutant? In this one. Yeah. I'm going to go a mutant, uh, but not maybe what you're thinking. Yeah. I'm thinking you may be going Wolverine. You, you would think that. Yeah. Because you know, you're quite a simple person. Oh, okay. But, <laughs> <laughs> bit obvious. Yeah. Bit obvious. But no, I'm going to go, uh, he's green he's also. Green. Yeah. So maybe him and Hulk, you know, can, you know, racial. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Kermit the Frog? Oh, almost. Close. Almost. But he wears a red bandana thingy over his eyes. Oh, and yeah, no. He's got these sides. Oh, and no. Yeah, and he is Raphael. Oh, wow. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That is really out of left field. Yeah, because, you know, I, I, you know, I want to be cool. Yeah. And he, you don't get cooler than Raphael. Well, Michelangelo was the party dude. He was a party yeah. dude. He was a party dude, but Raph, you know, he had some street cred. Yeah. He's cool, man. He's, yeah. he's a bit angry as well. Yeah, he was angry. He I, I like that. Yeah, I like that, that was the, He was my guy because mm. he did the same sort of thing. Yeah. Just, yeah, a bit of an angry child. Yeah. So, no, it's a good choice. And he's really good in the movie. The original movie... Yeah. You know, it's more focused around him, you know, like, because you, you would think that Leonardo is a leader, and I think he is a leader, but Raphael's the heart. Yeah, he is, yeah. And so he's, um, he's, he's the, the heart of my team. He's the uh, he's the J.R. Smith of the... Because <laughs> he goes out on the <laughs> own, and then, you know, five on one, he gets killed. So. <laughs> he does on the rooftop. Yeah. He, gets, he gets pounded. Yeah, it's not great, you know? No. But, uh, how about, I thought you might go to something like a super shredder. You know, oh, super shredder. Because it's Kevin, Kevin Hash. Hash. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> I like but thinking. Raphael, I like the way you think. Yeah. You've really, you've really almost like, I don't know, we're supposed to pick a starting five and you've gone to the bench early. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I don't know where your logic is there. Dude, you, you got to have a balanced team. You wouldn't know that being a LeBron fan. Um, oh, okay. You know, you can't have all super guys. You know, well, I've, I've got super, Michael Jordan well, on my it team. Is, it is a superhero, yeah, I think. So good, you point, good point, good point, good <laughs> point. Okay, you got me there, you got me there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, got, you got my Jordan as Superman. Yeah. You know, I've got... Uh, you know, Bill Cartwright as E-Man, obviously. Yeah, Darth Cartwright. Vader is uh, your Brodman. Yep. Um, and then you brought in Steve Kerr. <laughs> 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 it was good. You know, not the strongest, but a specialist. You know, like, yeah. he's your heart. He's yeah, yeah, your yeah, yeah. yeah, real shit team, Steve. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, cutting back to my team, right, I'm, then... going, I'm going the 90s Knicks, mate. I've got, <laughs> <laughs> I've got Anthony Mason. I've got yeah. Charles Oakley. And we're going. Yeah. So, number four. Now, this is going to be a toughie. Mm. Because I could, see, I'm not a strong superhero character sort of guy. Mm. I don't know a lot of them. I know, I'm actually struggling. Yeah. I got four. So I know there's people who are going to be listening to this, like probably like Big J, like, fucking choose this guy. What's wrong with it? We're not nerds, mate. No, no. <laughs> What are we going to do? You know? Like, I, know, I know everyone's probably like tearing their hair out. Like Benny right now is like, just make a fucking pick. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys drag this shit out. Uh, let's see, I don't know. Four walks. I could go like an obvious one, but I want to kind of go, you know, I want to go left of center. Mm-hmm. So I'm thinking, not Casper the Friendly Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's too soft. <laughs> I'm thinking comic books now, more so, you know, Jughead. Mm. You know, like, he eats a lot of burgers. That's pretty good. You, know, you need nourishment for the you team. Do. Yeah. Uh, no, I might go another scumbag. And most people think he's Mr. Wholesome, but no, he's a scumbag. I'm going with the king of steroid use, Captain America. So, Captain, Captain America. America. I'm going the cap because... Actually, I thought you were going somewhere else when you are talking about popping pills and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Roger Ramjet. I yeah, thought you were. The same, same line, you know. Mm-hmm. But I just love the poster boy for steroid use in the United States of America <laughs> because that's all it is. Too yeah. scrawny, Steve Rogers, mm-hmm. too too puny to make it to the US military. Oh, scientific experiments with these experimental drugs. All of a sudden, he's like the strongest man in the fucking world. Mm. Now, you know I like my scumbags. <laughs> he may not swear. He may be Mr. Goody Two-Shoes. But they're the ones he always got to watch out yeah, for. That's exactly they're, right. They're undercover scumbags. And they're yeah. worse than guys that come out and just act scumbag. He's such a phony. Oh, so that's why I like him. He's yeah. sneaky. Because you think, like, he might be in a situation where, oh... He won't hit Darth Vader. His back's turned. Nah, he's going to fucking throw that shield in the back of his head because he's a dog, mate. I know. He's coming over the top like Brandon Ingram. He's just he's just fighting. Just because you've got a part in, in your hair, you know, just because, exactly. you know, that means Jack. Yeah, we, know, no, we know who you are, he mate. He rips logs his bare yeah. hands. I'm going, I'm going cat. Nice. All right. Well, I've come up with my fifth. Yep. You know I like the blue muscles. Yeah. Okay, but I'm not going to skeletal. No. 
Okay, I'm not going to go hefty Smurf <laughs> either. You know, <laughs> as cool as he was with his little love heart tattoo on his arm, yeah. which I thought was so cool. What did, did they say, Mum or that? Oh, no, they just. Know. He was a badass. Smurf Hat was, <laughs> Smurf Hat was all about hefty. Um, no, this this one's a little bit out of left field as well. Yeah. Um, and I don't know if he's a superhero, but you know we're gonna chuck him in there. There was a there was a cartoon series in the eighties that was so good. Yeah. But it didn't last very long. Yeah. It was called Thundercats. Do you yeah, remember Thundercats? I remember Thundercats. Lino. Yeah. Tigro, maybe yeah. no tigress. Tiger, she was a chick. Yeah. And there was a two little girl, but there was Panthro. Yeah. And I was all about the blue muscles in there. Let me tell you about it. Yeah. I like, I liked, I like lots of blue guys. I like Beast out of the cartoon. Yeah, Beast. Yeah, a little yeah, bit from of X Men. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But Panthro, bald head. Yeah. And he was that the guy who did the voice acting was oh he's a he's an old black guy. Yeah. And he's really got this awesome voice, man. Oh, what's his name? I think he's from Bodyguard. He's the Old black guy look after Whitney Houston. No, no, no. Oh god, damn it! I should have done some research. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, so Panthro. Panthro. He was. Now the thing is, what I didn't like about I, that. You know what I love about your choices? It's there is this is like Panthro is as far as you're talking about like this is top five all time mm. of superheroes. Mm. Panthro is the busy bone <laughs> of superheroes. <laughs> you really just like picking just the. Uh, you know, this obscure guy that you're just fucking, I'm going to die on this hill As with a- this scumbag <laughs> that no one really knows or cares about, but I'm going to think he's ace, and I'm going to go to battle for this guy. That is the busy bone of superheroes. Panthro. As a kid, Panthro. he was the shit, man. Oh. Let me tell you, man. Like, Mumra didn't want to fucking tie up with Panthro. He yeah. wanted to go Lino. Yeah. You know, Lino was long, like, orange fucking hair. Yeah. Little this ring. Start us down, fuck. crazy bone, busy bone, dizzy bone. <laughs> but Panthro, man, he was a shit, and he's a... Drive that fucking Panfro, not the pan, the Lion truck, whatever it was yeah. called, man. Yeah. Anyway, look, when they finally make a movie about it, when they finally do, I, you'll go and you'll be like, that Panfro, that dude's mm. some badass motherfucker. Mm. And look, it's a team, man. You can't have five Supermans. Yeah. You've got to balance that shit out. Panfro's my balance. Panfro's your balance. All right. You've got, a, you've got a real team there. I do, man. Because the problem with your team, there's a couple of real weak links. <laughs> no way, man. Look at, look at Raphael, man. He would... Probably beat up um, someone. Yeah. Him and Deadpool. What's Deadpool? Got swords and stuff? Yeah. He's, he's no ninja. He shoots. He's he can shoot his guns as well. Mm. And you're forgetting the fun fact. He can't <laughs> die. <laughs> <laughs> so automatically, it's the teams of five fighting to survive. My guy can't <laughs> die. <laughs> so, you know, kind of winning there on a technicality. And now number five. Can yeah. he be, like, at least, like, blown up into pieces? He no, might not be cause dead. He, no, because he tries to commit suicide in the second movie and blows himself up to pieces and he just comes back to life and it annoys him. Oh, <laughs> he, just regenerates. he gets torn in half mm-hmm. and then his top halves of, and he starts growing his legs back. So it's one scene where he's got these little legs, like these little kid's legs. <laughs> and he, it's just really funny scene. Uh, you're not really selling this movie No, you're going to see it. It's a very, very good movie. Now, that, that movie did inspire me to think of, you know, who could I go for my number five? Do mm. I go another big, strong one, or do I go like a a, a, a bad guy? The same way mm. that you chose one of them super villains. I was yeah. thinking someone along the lines of Ju- uh, Juggernaut's really good. He's got the big helmet. Yes. And he only ever thought of Thor. Thor. So okay. Thor, you know, struggled to take him down. And okay. Thor's a god, and he's not allowed in our list. Now, I know there's going to be someone like Shag's going to be listening, and he's the biggest Batman fan mm. of all. No, I think he's Superman, Superman, Batman, whatever. He was one of those fucking people. He's a nerd. Mm. He's probably happy that he chose Superman. Yeah. A lot of people like Batman. They do. And they're probably tearing their hair out. They're not the truth. Batman. Not going the Joker because it doesn't really do a whole lot. No, no. Is he really a superhero? Does he even no. fit in that? He's a villain. He doesn't really do anything, does he? He's caught a lot. Might as well have like fucking Lex Luthor or something. Yeah, like, he's, you know? he's also, yeah. He has, I think he has leukemia, so he's not great. <laughs> He's <laughs> got a bald head. A bit of a liability on your team. You <laughs> Sorry, guys, got chemo. Got chemo at minute. 12. Sorry, guys, I can't <laughs> I can't join this battle. Yeah. You know, I'll, I'll sit this one out. Mm. Now, do you go someone like Professor X? Mm, He's good. Not got bad. Some yeah, it's got the... Magneto. Mm. You're going down those. I'm thinking, or do I just go a really obscure one that I always loved as a kid because I had the comic books? And Silver Surfer. Mm. Really enjoyed Silver Surfer. Now, terrible movie. Like they, when they try to put him in the Fantastic Four movie. Terrible. Okay. But he just had his little surfboard, and he's like an alien. He's not actually like a, a god or anything, but he was just cool. Mm. So I think I'm just going to throw him out there as an extra. Okay, yeah. So I like the fact that is I... Is he a sixth man coming off the bench? No, no, no. Oh, is he saying stuff? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, so, oh, 
Uh, well, because I'm not you don't like Raphael though. They like Silver Surfer. Okay. Well, like I said, you've got some passengers on your team, so I figure I could just let one. When you got Superman, you know, like Michael Jordan. Yeah, it doesn't matter who's on your team. No, it does. You because you've got one with an asterisk, because he yeah. might even get dropped. You know, for yeah, performance no. enhancing drugs, being a god. <laughs> you know, and, like my guys take the legal performance enhancing drugs. We're allowed to take them. That's what makes us us. Yeah, yeah. You know, Did you guy got... play for Essendon one year? <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, actually, I apparently uh, from the last show that we did a couple of weeks ago, uh, Lyle has nominated me for two votes for my um, decreeing that I wanted uh, Dylan Shield to do his ACL. So, oh, really? <laughs> Put you up for two votes? Apparently, I got a couple of votes for so... that. But, uh, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> so, so far, we'll run down Steve's team: Superman, He Man. Poof. Darth Vader, Raphael, and Panthro. Panthro. <laughs> fucking shit team. <laughs> That's a great fucking team. Versus Deadpool, Iron Man, the Hulk, Captain America, and the Silver Surfer. Mine's very, there's like, a, I've pretty much got the Avengers. <laughs> 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 and traded out some of the crappy ones for Silver Surfer and Deadpool. Because, like I said, I don't know that many superheroes. No, and no. I just don't like Batman. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. he was never making the cut. Yeah, Superman would smash him. Anyway. So, we need to, we're going to put this on the on the web, on the yeah. Facebook. We need to vote whose team's winning. We'll do it the. Steve likes doing his little collages. So Steve will do a little collage. <laughs> guys, put his yep. up. He knows how to do those little things now where you can vote which team would win. Yes, yes. So Team Speed, Team Steve, this is going to be exciting. Yeah. So we're going to need you guys to vote in for that one. And then next week we might do another another we one. we got for another you. one lined up for you, boys. So do you want to, we'll, we'll, no, we'll we'll surprise, no, no, we'll surprise them next yeah, week. So we might have another Survivor Series team. We'll probably yep. do this through until the Survivor Series. Yes, Just because I don't think the WWE even does the 5 as 5 anymore, but it was a good gimmick. It was good, it. man, yeah. So we'll keep it alive yeah. so that's going to be us for this week guys so for speaker I want to say goodbye for Steve Burrows See you later. we'll speak to you next week peace. peace love this podcast support it and sponsor today simply head to oscastnetwork.com for details